What's going on guys? Today is our first IRL video on the channel, I guess you would call it. It's the first video where I'm not going to be a sitting in this chair the whole time, either playing a game, rating a team, uh, doing a tier list. It's the first video on the channel that's not going to be like that. Um, we have a setup tour today. Setup tour, July 2020. I recorded this on July 4th, which was yesterday. I didn't feel like it was a good idea to drop the video yesterday because it was July 4th. Everyone's out there doing their thing. Everyone's out there partying. Everyone's out there celebrating. So um, we're here today. We're posting this video on July 5th. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to link every single thing that I can in the description down below. So if you are interested in um, purchasing some of this stuff for yourself or checking out some of this stuff yourself, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for everything that I go through in, in today's video. So if you are new here, we are less than 500 subscribers away from 5,000. So hit the subscribe button and turn notifications. We post daily Madden content. Today, it's not Madden content because... Madden isn't making content, but we are here today with the setup video. So yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. Um, there's the setup right there. We have the shoe collection there. We're gonna start with the shoe collection, actually. We're gonna start with the shoe collection. Uh, we have some Nike Air Maxes. Bought these shoes like two years ago, have yet to wear them. So these are literally brand new. They do still fit me, but I have yet to wear them like outside. I've like tried them on before, but I have yet to wear them. That's why they are still so clean. Um, here we have the LeBron James, uh, Sean Elliott's. Uh, I actually really do like these shoes. I've worn them a couple times. Super comfortable, super light. Um, I really do like this shoe. And also right here, it's like kind of see-through, so you can kind of like uh, see. You can kind of like see your socks. You have to wear some nice socks with them, or else you're gonna look like an absolute clown. But I do really like these shoes. Um, right here we have some just Adidas shoes. I'm not sure what Adidas shoe this is. I don't know. I don't remember what the name of them were, but they are just some white Adidas shoes. I have had these for a minute, and I have managed to keep them pretty clean uh, for white shoes. Uh, yeah, I've had them for probably like two to three years probably actually um, and I've yet to get those dirty and right here I've had these shoes for, for probably the same amount of time uh, right here are the uh, NMDs uh, this, These are probably the shoes I wear most as far as like shoes go um, Like slippers and slides I wear those the most but as far as like a shoe goes I do wear this one the most just because they are easy to put on they're light. They're comfortable um, NMDs are a huge W but um right here here are the Hooper shoes here are the shoes that we play basketball in. We have the uh, Giannis's. Got these for like 75 bucks, I believe, on Nike.com. That's the main reason why I got these Giannis's, and I'm, and I'm actually very happy I did. Uh, these Giannis's are absolute fire. I, I really do like these Giannis shoes. They have the crazy Nike sign, um, and they're also super comfortable. Good ankle support. I definitely recommend Giannis's for basketball shoes. And right here, uh, we're rocking the uh, Air Max 270s. These are the shoes that I will like go outside with. Um, I'll do some yard work in these. I'll run, I'll run on the treadmill with these. I'll work out in these. I know I do really work out, but when I do, I am rocking the Air Max uh, 270s. And down here, we have some slides and some slippers. Uh, those two shoes down there, I don't wear those anymore. They don't fit me. But those, those are some all-white Harachis, I believe they're called. Yeah, Harachis, I think they're pretty sure they're called. But uh, right here, we have the Big Baller slides. Got these uh, half price when Big Baller was going out of business. So I jumped on, I jumped on the Big Baller slides. Got these for like 50 bucks, I think. Um, are they worth 50 bucks? Absolutely not. These slides are actually garbage. These slides are actually garbage. I definitely would recommend uh, these slides. Here are some low slides. You see the grape right there? Uh, snipe squad right there. We're rocking the grapes. I actually do prefer these slides to the big baller slides. Uh, I'm pretty sure these low slides are like 35 bucks too. Or maybe they're 40. I don't really remember. But these shoes right here are actually the shoes I wear the most. If you ever catch me outside, I'm probably wearing these Uggs. I wear these Ugg slides absolutely everywhere. Um, in high school, I probably wore these every single day. Like, like probably like 75% of the days I was wearing, I was wearing the Uggs. Wearing with socks, wearing without socks, doesn't matter. Uh, Uggs, Uggs are a huge W. If, you, if you're not rocking Uggs, I'm not sure what you're doing. Uggs are a huge W. Actually, let's do the setup last. I think we're gonna do the setup last. Um, we'll do the setup last. Oh, but right here, we have the chair. Um, right now we're rocking the uh, the Miles Powell jersey. Seeing Hall, shout Seeing Hall. Uh, we have the Vertigear chair. This chair, I'm pretty sure is like 400 bucks. But um, I actually did get, I won the, I won my fantasy league two years ago. So I, ha I had a lot of money and I actually went and bought this chair. I'm actually very happy I bought this chair. But this chair, I can sit in this chair for like eight hours, six hours, six hours straight. And I do not, I do not get uncomfortable. Uh, this chair is, this chair is probably one of my best purchases in this room. Uh, this chair is absolute fire, absolute fire. Right here we have the fan, keeps me cool. Uh, we have the AC and the heat, heat for the winter, AC for the summer, as you know. And uh, right here, we're rocking some, uh, we're rocking the yearbook. We have some biographies we have the hank aaron the Derek jeter and we're rocking some 2k games 2k 12 to 2k 16 and then in 17 i started downloading the games but we have some packs of gum right there rocking the uh the michael jordan phone case on the iphone 4s from back in the day 
Um, right here we have a little Kobe drawing I did for a school project. I'm pretty sure it was like some kind of like book report on Kobe, I think, and I drew that picture. I'm pretty sure that was sophomore year, which is like three years ago, I think. Yeah, three years ago. And right here we have the graduation cap. Um, I, I wore this cap to graduation. Then later that night, Kawhi went and, uh, and won the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors. Um, yeah, I really do like this cap. I'm a fun guy. Uh, yeah, shout out Kawhi. Uh, but right here we got the uh, we got my first buck. A little picture of me when I was a young and shoot my first deer right there. Um, we have some G Fuel stickers throughout the years. But uh, right here we have, we have a Jets flag right here from the from the first Jets game this year. Uh, Jets Bills. The Jets did lose, but they gave us the flag, so it's kind of a W. Right here, right here we got Derek Jeter. We have some pottery I made in pottery class last year in high school. But uh, up here we have some games. Xbox Xbox One games. We got Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto. We have some Switch games. Um, some Pokemon games for the DS. We got a Johnny Manziel rookie card. We have the Xbox Elite Controller box. And we have a day one uh, 2013 Xbox One controller as well. This, this, this controller actually doesn't work at all. But it's just there for the style because it is a day one 2013 controller, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, top over to this side. Right here we have a beanbag. It's called a Fat Boy. Um, super comfortable beanbag. Super big. I do sometimes just chill on here. And maybe I'll edit a video on here. Maybe I'll watch some YouTube on here. Um, but this beanbag is a huge W. Over here, we have a shit ton of... I'm not sure if the lighting's any good over here right now. The lighting's definitely garbage right now. I'm sorry if the lighting's garbage. I'll try to turn up the brightness if I can somehow. Can I focus it? All right, maybe that, maybe that helped it out a little bit, but I have a shit, I have my boxes from stuff I bought throughout the years. Um, I have a lot of boxes. There's some G Fuel. There's the uh, Elgato capture card back there. We have we have the Ultralight Phantom. This mouse is actually broken. So uh, we hit up Final Mouse, and uh, they sent me uh, an Air 58 Ninja my cousin actually gave me this mouse, so shout out to my cousin. I'm not sure if I'll ever see this video, but my cousin did actually give me this mouse. Um, unfortunately, it is broken. I do prefer the Phantom to the to the Air 58 Ninja, but the but the Air 58 Ninja is not a bad not a bad mouse. I'm not really sure how many of you guys actually are uh, like are like into the PC world because I feel like a lot of people who who do watch me like are console people because I do make Madden videos. But um, Final Mouse does make some of the best mice on the market. But up here we have the Funko we have the Funko Pop collection. I definitely got a couple Funkos. We got McGregor, we got Appa, we got Joe Namath, uh, some others there you can see. And these two over here were actually gifted to me from Sa. This one was for my birthday, and this one was for uh, Christmas, I believe. I actually do hate Jared Goff, though. That's why he got it for me, because I do hate Jared Goff. Jared Goff's one of my least favorite quarterbacks in the NFL. But uh, right here, we got a closet, and right here, we have the uh, a picture of the GOAT, Drake, right there. That picture ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Over here, we got David Johnson, and uh, down here, here's the PC. Um, this is the PC I built. I actually did. I actually did build this PC. Um, I'm pretty sure there's an there's a GTX 1080 in here uh, with an Intel i7 processor. I'm not sure how many like, cores and stuff it has. I'm not really too sure in that. But um, but if if you guys do want to get a PC, I 100% recommend you go ahead and actually build your own PC. I actually this PC right here. I bought this PC when I was in like eighth grade. I didn't really know what I was doing to be honest. But I did buy this PC when I, when I was in like eighth grade, and I do regret not building that PC myself. Cause I have no idea what motherboards in there, uh, like what what processors in there. I have no idea what's in that. If, if, if something is broken, that I can probably figure out how to fix it. But I wish that I built my first PC because this PC didn't really have that long of a life. I can't play like Fortnite on that. I can't play like Warzone on that. Um, it simply cannot run those games. But I do live stream on this PC. Um, this PC is actually rocking a uh, a GTX 1060. And I'm not sure what processor it has, but it's rocking a GTX 1060. I do stream off the I do stream off the uh, off the graphics card, so that's probably why my streams are I'm able to stream off this PC because the graphics card is actually pretty good. But like I said, I'm not sure what motherboard I'm rocking. I do have an Elgato capture card in here though. I'm rocking an Elgato capture card. That's how I record my PC. That's how I record. Uh, that's how I, that's how I live stream Warzone. It's how I uh, record my Madden videos. That's how I basically I use my Elgato in almost every single video. But um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, up here we have the Nintendo Switch. For Mario Kart, Pokemon, uh, Smash Bros. When I occasionally do play those games, um, I was actually raised on Nintendo games. I'm not gonna lie, uh, DS, GameCube. I was raised on those kind of games. Uh, it wasn't until, like the PS2 when I really got into uh, like Madden and stuff like that. But um, I was definitely raised on Nintendo games my whole life. But yeah, back to this PC. Uh, we have the Cooler Master fan for the uh, for cooling the GPU. I'll and, and I will link every single thing in this PC in the description if you guys are interested. I will link everything in the description. But I, I'm not sure how much I can link on this PC because I didn't build this PC, but I'll link everything I can. I'll link everything from my whole setup as well in the description if you guys are interested in going to check out some of that stuff for yourself. But yeah, we do have the Avatar Funko Pop in there, as you guys probably saw. And I'm pretty sure that this PC is three terabytes. And as you can see, this PC is one. 
if you're wondering why you can actually see right into this PC, it's because there's like a piece of glass that usually does cover this, but I unfortunately did break it trying to fix it one day. Um, I was taking it off and it just shattered in my hands, but um, I definitely do got to get a new case because I can't be running a, uh, a PC with no case. That's how you get all the dust in there and stuff, but... Um, on the other side, there is a black cover. I'm not sure if we're, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys behind the desk, but if I do, uh, you will see that. Uh, but right here we have the monitors. Um, this monitor right here is only 60 hertz. It's 1080p though. I probably bought this monitor like five years ago. Um, I bought it with this PC. Maybe, maybe I bought the PC. I think I'm pretty sure I bought the monitor actually first, and then I bought the PC. But um, this monitor was actually very good when I bought it. I actually have two of this monitor. I have this monitor here, and then I have the the monitor vertical over here. Um, we, we have th these two monitors are the exact same 1080p 60 hertz N they're not good for gaming but if you're trying to surf the web and not and not do anything too crazy um this monitor definitely can get the job done for you but um the middle monitor is the beast monitor the middle monitor is an absolute demi uh it's it is a samsung curved monitor um 4k 144 hertz this monitor is absolutely amazing um whenever, whenever people ask me what monitor they should get um i usually do recommend this monitor 144 hertz if you're still gaming on 60 hertz you definitely got to upgrade the 144. You can 100% feel the difference. It's absolutely insane how much, how big of a difference it does make. But right here we have the camera. I'm not really sure what camera it is. I'm pretty sure it's like a Logitech 922 or like a Logitech 29 or something like that. I'm not really sure what it is. I'll link it in the description though. But here, here's, here's the Logitech camera. Um, I record all my videos on there. I uh, use this for almost every, I use, I use this for every single video. Um, you, that's the camera you see in the live streams. Uh, that's the camera right there, the Logitech, a little webcam right there. And right here we have some uh, some shitty Logitech speakers. Got them for like 20 bucks. They are Bluetooth, so I, I do blast some music throughout the room using these speakers. But uh, these speakers are really nothing special, to be honest. But um, right here we have the Blue Yeti mic. Uh, this is what I record my videos with. Um, the live streams, all that stuff is used on the Blue Yeti mic. Uh, I actually do, really do like Blue Yeti. This is actually my second Blue Yeti. I bought a Blue Yeti like I was probably in like sixth grade. I had a Blue Yeti. But that Blue Yeti broke, so like this year I went and bought a new Blue Yeti. Uh, we have like this, it's like black and gold and gray one. Uh, it looks pretty fresh and it's on the uh, it's on the mic arm as well. Um, for the keyboard, we have an, an Ampro 2. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, change the colors like that. All we have is purple and rainbow right now. I usually keep it on rainbow, but as far as my controller goes, we're rocking the, uh, it's like purple and pink Xbox controller. I bought it like two months ago and the right bumper already broke. It, the right bumper's already broken. I can't throw the ball to RB um it definitely is some bs but i'm not gonna make excuses i'll start making adjustments but uh my right bumper does not work right here here's the air 58 ninja one of the best ma mouses mice on the market um i mean when i bought this mouse the hexagonal mouse pattern uh the hexagonal mouses they were very rare to find but now you go on amazon you see these kind of you, you see these kind of mice all over the place um but yeah two years ago this was definitely the mouse to get um but we have the, the g fuel the G Fuel mouse pad is a Steel Series. Um, Steel Series makes some of the best mouse pads. I've used the, I've used a lot of mouse pads. Steel Series is, has always been the best for me. Um, and right here, this is for my other PC. We got a uh, wireless. Can I, well, focus, focus. Yeah, we got a wireless uh, three hundred G three hundred five. I um, really do like this mouse as well. It's small, has good battery life as well. Right here we have the Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A lemonade chilling right there. I probably shouldn't have got that, but you know what it is. Fourth of July. So I went out and treated myself, but all right. So this little contraption right here is how I switch my keyboard between PC. So I go ahead, and, I go ahead and hit this button. Now it's on this. Now it's on this PC. Now it's on this PC. When I hit this button, it goes back to this PC. So these two monitors, this monitor and this monitor, they go to this PC, and this monitor goes to that PC. If that made any sense, that may, that may have been a little bit that may have been a little bit confusing, but that's how that's how it works. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else I gotta show you guys. Um. Am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, so right here, I don't you guys can see this, but we have a mouse bungee, little mouse bungee right there. Um, makes the mouse feel like it's wireless, makes the mouse feel light and airy, like using a wireless mouse, even though it is wired. And I do wanna show you guys the lights as well. So up here, up here we have the lights. There are some bugs and shit in there right now. I probably should have cleaned that before making the video, but these are LifeX lights. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for LifeX. Um, I'm pretty sure I got these on Amazon, but these lights, I, I can control them all on my phone. And these lights are actually linked to the lights behind my desk. It's like a light strip. Um, it's all LifeX, all in one app. Um, super easy to control. And the, and, the, and the lights are pretty cool too. They like move around. And you can make them any color you want. Um, LED lights obviously do carry most setups. But um, yeah, these LifeX lights, I 100% recommend them. They're not the cheapest, but I do really like them a lot. And over here, we do have the uh, the Jets. 
the uh, Knicks and the Yankees banners. And we come over here. We got the uh, we got the Kobe Sports Illustrated retirement issue, and we got the uh, Kobe the Kobe uh, tribute. R.I.P. to Kobe, um, absolute legend. Uh, right here we got the uh, we got the Sports Illustrated Lynn Sanity Sports Illustrated. Of course, and the last magazine we got right here is the Sports Illustrated uh, Mark Sanchez. Of course, the New York Goat. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, actually, one more thing. Actually, two more things. Right here, this is probably the coolest part about my setup. And um, we're rocking, it's, it's like this like little like water pump. So you basically get one of these big water jugs and you put this like pump on it and you pump the, and you pump it and then water comes out. Um, and I, I usually just keep a glass at my setup. And when I'm done with my water, I fill it back up, you know, having water um, a lot throughout the day is very, very good for you. So I try to, I try to stay hydrated throughout the day. And underneath here, we're rocking the, uh, here's, here's where the Xbox is on this little like shelf. I'd be screwed into the desk here. Um, actually, I should probably go into the desk. The desk, we got this desk from like some like random like weird like desk place. It was like, it was like this random like desk place that me and my dad found. Um, and this desk, it's really big desk. It's supposed to be like a teacher's desk, as you can tell right here. Um, some of the uh, the wraps actually chipping off. It's it, it's it's basically like a teacher's desk, but we wrapped it in carbon fiber. So I'll link the carbon fiber wrap in the description below as well. But this desk, we got it for like fifty bucks in like the clearance rack um huge steal this desk is absolutely huge you can fit three monitors two pcs and i still have room, and i still have room to play with as well so yeah, this desk is fire i would link you the desk but <laughs> i really can't i really don't know where this desk came from it could have came from like japan for all i know i don't even know but um oh yeah and the headset too i forgot about the headset um the headset we're rocking astro a40s i believe it's some astro a40s we have the ferdy we got the ferdy logo right here the ferdy uh but um yeah th this headset this headset's a huge w and it has a mix amp, which allows me to get sound from that PC and this PC all in one, all, all in the same headphone. So I do really like these uh, these Astro A40s. Um, Astro, in my opinion, Astro and Steel Series probably make the uh, the best headsets um, on the market right now. I would stay away from Turtle Beach. I would definitely stay away from Turtle Beach. But um, all right, so the final thing here is where I edit all my videos on my MacBook Pro. I got this for college. Uh, I use it more for editing videos, to be honest. Um, I use Final Cut Pro on here. Edit all my videos on this little on this little laptop right here. I sit right here on my on my little nightstand. And I edit every single video was edited right here. Um, so yeah, we have the charger right there. We have the adapter for the USB. Got the AirPods, and we have, we have the water bottle there. Of course, stay hydrated. And there and here's my bunk bed. The bottom bunk is for me. There's the Jordan poster and up top. That's where my brother sleeps. There's no sheets on the bed right now because we don't really care about them. But um, I'm definitely a bottom bunk demon. And down here we're rocking a uh, a pull out bed. Um, which does pull out a third bed. So if any of you guys do want to, if any of you guys do come over and spend the night, there will there will be a place for you guys to stay. But um, but yeah, that's gonna do it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, I will link every single thing I can down in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you have any questions about the setup, also leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer you. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.